we met in South Florida, uh, you know, we, and we were amongst a select few in South Florida who had even heard of suicide or the Velvet Underground. And uh, at that time, in our early 20s, you know, we just wanted to leave South Florida. So uh, we decided to move to New York. You know, it's on the East Coast. It's an easy place to go. I find touring enjoyable for the most part. I mean, there are times when you'd like to be home, but it's offered us an ability to travel and go to a lot of places that I just haven't been able to go to. I had, you know, traveled in the U.S. somewhat, but not very extensively, and now I've been sort of seen a lot more of the country and a lot of Europe where I've barely been. It's funny because being on tour for three days or being on tour for 33 days, you know, once you get out there, it, it doesn't really change. You might only see the back of a club, you know, we've been in, for instance, like Dresden, I know, and which is a city that I would love to see, and you don't see it at all. Touring is a, is a, uh, a unique, you know, perspective and opportunity to, to get to enjoy. I don't think any of us are big, you know, get on stage type of people. You know, I don't play music, I don't play instruments or anything, so I write words and, uh, you know, I uh, collaborate with these guys who, you know, help with the music and it sort of takes off in a practice when, you know, something you've written and something they've written come together and you can feel it come together. That's, to me, probably the most exciting, exciting time. Yeah, <laughs> I concur with that.